Hi, Ryan. Hi, Aldra. Where are you right now? I'm in Salem, Massachusetts, my hometown. You know where I am? New York City, our apartment. Our apartment. It Famously. With the cabaret friends. Not Hello. All. We met long before the cabaret did the wing. Yes. Um, so, we started the cabaret, I guess, with the help of some other people. Michael, yes. Warren, who was the Gallatin producer at the time, and I think Katie was our stage manager, Katie Young, our stage manager, also a producer. Um, I went to Gallatin, Ryan, you went to... Steinhardt. The other one. Uh, <laughs> although often masqueraded as a Gallatin student, and I worked in the theater with you. We uh, were doing a, an Edward Albee show at GTT, and um, we canceled it because the rights fell through, and we needed something to fill in, and Ryan, you and I are obsessed, would you say, with musicals? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we we just realized there wasn't a lot going on at the school in that realm, and we had to pull something together really quickly and without getting clearances like you would need to do a full show. I think that's the whole origin story. It's not the most flashy. Yeah, I mean, and it was basically at that point, like, songs that we were already singing w with each other. It was, yeah, I think it's William Finn, I'd Rather Be Sailing. I think it was something from the last five years. We all did a group number, very poorly choreographed by me, the day of, to Mama Who Bore Me. <laughs> and then we also wrote for the first cabaret, a rewritten lyric version of Anything Goes to be about yep. Gallatin majors. Yeah. Which I still pride myself to this day on rhyming Plato with Foucault. It was good. Um, well, what, what do we want to say to the future of American musical theater? So, yeah, I mean, there's Break a lot. Have a great show. Have fun. Thank you for um, carrying on our tradition. I mean, I went to school for composing, so I'm very happy that now it is living on and now doing, like, new works. Astounding. Oh, yeah, it's doing it's new works now. That's a much better idea than our idea, which was literally anything goes. <laughs> should, we, should we end with a tag? Uh... Probably not. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba. So I hope you enjoyed this individualized musical theater cabaret where anything goes way up. In olden days, one had requirements like getting a job in finance and counting all. Anything goes. My name is Kate O'Mara, and I am a producer for Uncharted 2020. Um, I would just like to give a quick thank you to Audra and Ryan, the cabaret founders, um, and also to Jen Verge for that incredible tribute to our past cabaret shows. 
I would just like to welcome you all. And tonight we are celebrating the fifth anniversary of Uncharted, a show dedicated to new musical theater works. It is always so great to work with NYU composers and present their incredible work. Now, as some of you may have noticed, some of the songs on our program are not going to be presented to you live tonight, but we are working on music videos to be um, released um, in the coming weeks. Please follow our Facebook page or um, subscribe to our email list, which I will um, give the link um, at the chat window um, for further information on when those will be released. We have a great show for you tonight with an incredibly talented cast. So without further ado, I would like to pass it over to my dear friend and colleague, your Master of Ceremonies, Ian Fails. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you, Kate. Wait, let me get comfy real quick. I got my robe on, I have my skincare all done, and I'm gonna host a show. Thank you all for coming, it means a lot. Welcome to Gallatin Theater Troupe's 2020 production of Uncharted, a musical theater cabaret. I'm Ian Thales, I'm the show's stage manager, bassist, and tonight's master of ceremonies. I speak for everyone when I say that we are super excited to present our hard work to you all in this new format. I will say the learning curve was steep, but in light of today's situation, uh, we think we've managed to put together an incredible show for you guys. So just a heads up, each song will be credited in the chat section and you can find the information for those songs on the program as well, which was sent to you via email. And to start off our show, we have the song Which Way by Josh Benami and James Salem, performed by our very own Tyson Upshaw. When I moved to New York, right before we met, my wardrobe was all denim and khaki and plaid. I know it's hard to believe, I wish I could forget, but I walked and talked and dressed just like my dad. Then on the streets of the city, my little gay heart sprouted wings and started to soar. Here I could be all the things I've been too scared to be before. Rainbow flags as far as I could see. In God, I felt so free. I could swing my hips or paint my lips, do anything that felt good to me. I could squish, I could dance, maybe find romance, stuffed in rainbows and sparkles galore. But maybe there's more me there to explore. So is this me? Well, who's to say? Maybe the real me is some other way. Is who I am, who I'm meant to be. All I want to know is which way will love find me? I've never been a real guy's guy. That's never been my scene. But I can walk the walk and talk the talk. Stanley, you know what I mean. I thought I was oppressed or a bit depressed. Being one of the boys was a bore. But maybe there's more me there to explore. Could that be me? Well, who's to say? Maybe the real me is some other way. So I am who I'm meant to be. All I want to know is which way will I find me? I thought if I found myself, then love would surely come around. So I went looking for me, and this is all I found. Love's still lost, love's not here. I don't know how to make it up here. But if I have a shot, who says that I'm not what he's looking for? When there's still so much me there to explore, 
I mean, who am I really? Well, who's to say? Maybe the real me is some other way. It's who I am, who I'm meant to be. All I want to know is which way will I find me? Which way will I Wow, incredible job, Tyson. Thank you so much. And what a way to start our show. Let's think about this story a little bit more. We have a gay man who discovers himself in New York City. I'm sure that speaks to a lot of us NYU kids. That song is from a musical called Mask for Mask, a totally masculine musical. And Tyson really brought this familiar character to life. Next, we have Yes, Yes, Yes by Alanya Bridge, sung by Sarah McCluskey. Did you just hear what he said to me? He told the worst joke in history, and then he asked me out. Me, yes, me, and I never just give my number out, but I couldn't help laugh, he was cute, no doubt, so I took the risk to see what he's about, appeared calm, but inside, I said yes, 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 I've been waiting for someone waiting for someone like you, 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 yeah. So here we are at some cute cafe. I'm nervous as hell, don't know what to say. When I talk and laugh the night away, it's okay, it's okay. As we make our way out the cafe door, he tells me he'd like to see me some more. And I swear my feet, they don't touch the floor. Casually, I say, Sure, but think, yes, 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 I've been waiting for someone, waiting for someone like you, 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 ooh, yeah, yes, 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 I've been waiting for someone, waiting for someone like you, 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 ooh, yeah, I had wished on every star that someday I'd meet someone who's sweet my own prince charming be swept off my feet I tell myself I'm dreaming and I'll wake up anytime but there he is when I open my eyes I guess I'm on cloud nine Oh my gosh, you guys are back already. Oh, that song got me in such a mood. I'm all dressed up and ready to flirt. Thank you, Sarah. I'll make sure to play this song at my first post-quarantine get-together. Next, we have Sea and Fog by Erica G and performed by Michael Zalto. 
Wow, I too am sinking myself in fog. Thank you, Michael, for that immersive performance. That song was based on the play Long Day's Journey in Tonight by Eugene O'Neill. Next, we have another song by Alanya Bridge called Needing You, sung by our Julia Mates. She called again. Of course she did. She called and then you answered. She needs you again. Is she serious? Again, yeah, she needs you again. You answered. But I'm upset. I was about to tell you that I'm upset, which is rare for me. But there you go to her rescue. There you go. Why can't you see? Here I am needing you, I actually do But because I seem strong, it's her you run to But I need you, damn it, I do It's just hard to admit it to you Hold that 
that thought you say, grabbing your keys, not wanting to see needy, I say nothing. I won't be long, you say, you give my hand a squeeze, not wanting to seem clingy, I say nothing. And there you've gone to save the damsel in distress, there you've gone to play the hero. Well, I am left seething more or less, I am left. Because I seem strong, it's her you run to. But I need you, Dem, I do. It's just hard to admit it to you. And I don't know what to do. I mean, she is your best friend. One thing could lead to another, to another, to another. It's just a question of when. Because she is your ex, one thing has led to another, to another, and another in the past. So could I again. I know you love me, I do. But I wouldn't be surprised if your ex love regrew. the call. You'll still be a while. Yeah, here's the call that I expected. You cannot leave until you made her smile. It's yeah, what I expected. Well, here I am needing you. I actually do. But because I seem strong, it's her you run to. But I need you, damn it, I do. I need you, yes, I do, I need you, I do, it's just hard to admit it to you. Wow, great job, Julia. And speaking of those in need, or we need, we feel this song is a good opportunity to remind everyone to be thankful and grateful for your essential workers who are keeping us all afloat. So remember to tip your Grubhub delivery people, wear your mask to the grocery store, and maybe sign a petition or two for those seeking hazard pay for our healthcare workers stuck at the front line. Not to be cliche, but actions always go further than words. So our next song is about a troubled relationship between a father and a daughter in which the father asks the daughter to perform a lullaby that he's rewritten about her mother's failing health. This is Grapevine by Brooke Tam and Andrew Strano, sung by Melanie Nolf. A little you odd love And a long time ago There in a vineyard that nobody owns she needed some loving to grow Soon a young man looking sad and alone Took a turn down a road with a bend Passed through the vineyard, discovered the vine And he asked her, do you need a friend? She said, I like you so he stopped to help and it meant that they both got some sun her tendrils climbed the arbor he built and he helped them to reach one by one the vine and the man they grew each year as close as could be you could tell they put down roots and made quite a lie till the vine started getting unwell this is all new her leaves trembled she felt like she'd lost all control and the tendrils that used to be supple turned to wood his heart
Wow, Melanie. Me and my grapes are equally moved by your performance. Thank you. But we'll keep the ball rolling. Next, we have Mariana by Seth Christenfield, sung by Polina Patel. Ended. 
Not with the bang, but with the whimper. A tiny tear that got bigger and bigger till it couldn't be mended. You didn't want to make it work. Wow. Round of applause for Paulina. You know, all it took was her seeing the word coffee once for me to realize that I haven't had a venti iced chai with soy in months. Truly a tragedy. Up next, we have Dear Darling by Chloe Geller, and we welcome Julia Mates back to sing her song acoustically on ukulele. is running low and records show I've been at it for quite some time even though your mind is slipping I hope that you're still gripping to the love we had together me and you dear charming flame is on is sinking down my smile frowns when you're gone for a little while but you know I'll keep on singing to the record beats is swinging I'll try to get along past the whole day through Yeah. 
bed we share is falling apart. Can't we just pick up the pieces and go back to the start? But the carpet stained with liquor from all the nights we had to bicker. This wicker rocking chair was built for two. Oh my gosh, Julia, that's crazy. I didn't know you also played ukulele. Great job. Anyway, it's my turn now. I'm gonna play a fun, familiar tune for the audience. Here's Wonderwall. I'm just kidding. Next, we have Fly by Matt Rose, written for a musical called The Oldenburg Suite and sung by a familiar face, Michael Zalta. begin. Open rooms ahead. The frames are portals full of light and anticipation. Pink immortals, gods in white, history to be read. And you will get your time with each. The beauty is within your reach. Unfocus your unfeeling eye and allow yourself to fall backwards into space and fly. Fly above 6th Avenue. The colors on the walls and floors are floating up into the blue. Escaping through the halls and doors. Fly above 6th Avenue like planes and palms and pigeons do. This could be the perfect view try. This could be the perfect place to fly. is thinning. Once it's cleared, choose a painting nearer. Brush strokes spinning, finely smeared, milky ways in paint. The air is silent, almost stilled. Here it just seems clearer. Passion violent, temper chilled, beautiful restraint. This could be the place for you your memories and your dreams on view. Embrace the wonder, ask for more, and collapse into the air. Lighter than the wind and soar. Fly above 6th Avenue, the women in their cubic pearls 
and boys who play guitar and blue, and rosy huge rubic girls all fly above Sixth Avenue to make that final rendezvous. This could be the shortcut to the sky. This could be the perfect place to fly. Listen, go in, watch them flow in. Listen, listen, hear their muted call. I see it all, I'm here now, I see it all. I'll fly above Sixth Avenue, but here is only here today. I have to catch that killer view. Tomorrow it will fade away. Fly above Sixth Avenue to make that final rendezvous. All new meaning brings a new goodbye. This could be the perfect place to fly. This could be the perfect place to Wow, what a song. I would love to be flying over Sixth Avenue. Instead, I'm stuck in my sixth floor East Village walk up, but we can pretend. I hope you guys enjoyed these amazing live performances. Take note, these were all done in real time, shaky internet connection or not. However, for our last number, we have a special piece. This was originally going to be our big ensemble number, but given the situation, we had to get clever. Instead, we had everyone record their parts and our music director, Zach, then compiled and mastered the audio together and Lily, our director, assembled this masterpiece of a video. So please enjoy Raise Your Voice by Bella Kowalik and Andrew Strano, featuring our soloist, Arielle de la Cruz, and the rest of the cast as the ensemble. Quiet settles around me Here in the statues Standing alone I do not want to I have to fight this But I can't change things all on my own I have to raise my voice and sing out loud Breaking through the sun
roads now. One more person. One more person. One more person. Hear us now. We have to wait. Just one voice, but I won't back down till everybody hears me, hears me, hear me. Wow, thank you for that beautiful video. Now, how about a round of applause for our cast and crew, as well as our musicians, who were super flexible and all recorded their individual parts for us. So go ahead and clap and we'll pretend like we can hear you. Don't worry. Oh wait, one last thing, one last thing. One last thing before we go. Remember, we have a few special ensemble pieces that didn't get to be performed live tonight for reasons beyond our control. But those will be posted on the Gallatin Theatre Troupe website and on GTT's YouTube channel in the next coming days. Please take a moment to see the rest of the show because everyone here works super hard to make this happen in spite of everything. And they deserve recognition for the amazing content they've created tonight. I hope you all can agree with that. Anyways, thank you to everyone who attended tonight. It's been fun and exciting and we hope you all had a great night. Goodbye. <laughs>